An awful amount of men are so concerned about what others think about them that they even are willing to stop growing. Because that's really what it is. If you care what others think, it's usually not because you're worse than them. It's usually because you are better than them and you're afraid of them seeing that you're better than them and you're basically afraid of their insecurity and that's a very bad place to start in. I'm going to be very honest with you. I was in that place a couple of years ago and I didn't really know how to fix this until I discovered meditation. Because meditation, you got to think about it like this. Meditation basically eliminates negative thoughts from your brain if you do it correctly. And I will teach you in this video how to do it correctly and why to do it. And for this video, the main principle, the core principle is going to be I am consciousness. It's basically the theory that everything you perceive as real is real. Because it is like that, right? If you believe God is real, then God is real for you. If you see a tree, the tree is real for you. But someone else might see that tree in a different way. Colorblind people don't know that they're colorblind until people tell them that color over there isn't, isn't blue, it's red. And therefore, everything you perceive as real is real for you. And if you perceive other people's thoughts as real, then they are real for you. But if you don't perceive them as real, which they aren't because you don't know how they look, so it's kind of unlogical. But still, if you perceive other people's thoughts as real, they're going to be real for you. And you're going to think, well, what if this person thinks this if I go for a bath barefoot walk? You are basically stopping yourself from growing because you are too afraid that the thing you perceive actually becomes real. And that's so crazy. I would pay anything for to let the things that I perceive as real, so my success and everything that I perceive as real to actually like be real right now. And sometimes it takes time for reality to catch up with your perception. You can perceive yourself as a successful entrepreneur while you're still broke with $500 in the bank. But you perceive yourself as that and sooner or later you're going to become that. And if you still have this perception, okay, people might think this, people might think that, then that is not their fault because they might not be thinking anything. They might be thinking, hey, this guy is cool, man. He just does what he wants to do. He grows. But you think maybe he thinks that I'm a pussy. Maybe he thinks that I'm a bitch for going for a barefoot walk. Maybe he thinks that going to the gym is gay. And you're holding yourself back because you're afraid. It's an anxiety that holds you back. It's the fear of missing out. You've got FOMO because you are afraid of missing out on the things they do because obviously don't, they don't want someone to be with them that makes them become insecure because that's ultimately what you're going to do. When you're better than people, you are often going to have this thought, well, what, what, but what do they think about me if I meditate, right? You have these thoughts, you know, okay, let's be better than them. And then you think, oh, fuck, but if I become better than them, they might think this or this or that. And it's true, they might think that. But you only think this because you have the anxiety that they will abandon you from the tribe. Because that has been like that for hundreds of years. Humans have lived in tribes of around 150. And if you were the weird guy, if you were the guy who was thinking dangerous thoughts or bad thoughts or was doing bad action, you would be thrown out the tribe. And if you didn't do with them what they did, then you would also be thrown out of the tribe or you would be left behind. And that's the fear we still have today. And the, be and the best fighter for any anxiety is meditation. You can say anything, any form of meditation, prayer, mindful meditation, transcendental meditation, affirmation meditation, visualization meditation, focus meditation, any meditation is going to help you with 
any type of anxiety. I'm convinced about this. This is why I decided to teach meditation today to you. The way you do meditation is I show you in a picture. Um, you basically breathe in from your chin up through your nose, then from your nose, from the highest point of your nose where you can feel the wind that you're just breathing in. So you're breathing in like this up and then you go down into your lungs. You imagine like a blue line from here to there. And then you, you imagine a red line coming up again when you breathe out and then going up here again and then not going like this, but going like this, right? You feel you feel the warm air sort of on the front part of your nostril. And you feel your nostrils and you feel the wind going through them. And then you feel the cold air going down and the warm air going up. And you literally imagine like a path, a blue line going down your, your throat and going down your body and going anywhere you want it to go. I recommend simply breathing into your lungs because it's the most natural thing. You can also say, yeah, breathe down to your toes, breathe into your balls, all these things you can do. The deeper you go with this line and the slower you go with the line, the deeper you will automatically breathe. And this is what people mean by breathing to your balls because breathing to your balls, regardless, almost regardless of how fast you want to draw the line, is gonna make you breathe deeper. And if you simply visualize yourself breathing like this, breathing up and then down into some body part, you can start with your throat if you aren't as practiced in breathing um, deep um, as, you can, as, you, as you could be in a couple months. Then you breathe into your throat, then you breathe into your lungs, then you breathe into your balls, then you can breathe into your feet, then you can even breathe deeper. You can breathe as deep as you want can breathe slowly, then you can breathe deeper, you can you can go with a full breath and then go like, right, and, and breathe a little bit more air in. But it's important that you breathe in shorter than you breathe out because your nervous system reacts to the length of each thing. And during, while you breathe in, your nervous system, your parasympathetic nervous, nervous system basically heats up and when you breathe out, it cools down. So when you breathe out longer than you breathe in, it's cooler after the breath than it was before the breath. Because it heats up a little bit, but then it cools down because you breathe out longer. Right? This is why these athletes and, and all those weightlifters go like... <sighs> right? They go like... Long in breath, they heat their nervous system up and fast, explosive out breath. And meditators and people who want to be calm go like, or even, because breathing through your mouth is always the faster route. You can also breathe fast through your nose, but it's, it tends to be more difficult. You can practice this in the beginning to make the short breath through the mouth to go like, or the other way. What makes you breathe faster is what you do first and what makes you breathe slower is what you do second. This is how you do meditation. You don't need any fancy stuff for this. Just download the app that is in the description. It's called Medito, M-E-D-I-T-O, Medito. -E <laughs> Medito. Um, just download the app. I've been meditating with it for two years and it is honestly the best app for meditation that I could ever recommend. There are even guided courses on there that you can use when you are a beginner. And now have a nice day, be mindful, be fast, and win. Master your mind.